welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lottie and this is my February TBR. So I know I look a little bit different. Um, I have been well overdue for a haircut uh, for years. The last time I got my haircut was in 2020 and I just really wanted a change so yeah I've cut all my hair off <laughs> I used to have my hair quite short when I was a student I've missed it I feel like it suits me so much more than really long hair so yeah I wanted to kind of keep it a bit of a secret to surprise people and this is the first video I'm filming with my new do so this is probably the video it's going to be debuting in <laughs> I'm so pleased with it. I love it. So I've been a little bit behind with filming so you'll probably see this video first and I have a couple of other videos that I've pre-filmed that I'm still editing with me with still my long hair so you'll probably see this and then those so there might be a little bit of inconsistency for a couple of weeks but it's fine it's fine it's fine okay so yeah this is my February TBR we're not doing a TBR scrolls this month because as you know that's bi-monthly so the way that I've kind of built my TBR for February is based on series TBRathon which was created by Tori I will leave a link to Tori's channel in the description and also to the Twitter for series TBRathon okay I think it's going to be uh, twice a year the first round's in February and the next one's going to be in August and this is sort of just a readathon to help you carry on with a series that you've started to start new series finish series and it also you can play it so that you use it to get through your physical like TBR as well I have tried to choose just series books for this readathon there's quite a lot of series that I want to get through that I own so this is a really great way for me to make some progress on those. So there is a bingo board for this readathon and you can like double up, triple up on prompts that you could literally just do like one prompt again and again. I have decided to choose a book for each prompt like a fool. So there are eight books on my February TBR. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to all of them but I really really would like to. I'm really excited about all the books that are going to be on my February TBR so I really hope that I can just get through them to be honest. So I'm going to go through each of the prompts in order, tell you which book I've chosen for that prompt and then that is basically what makes up my Feb TV. So first up the first prompt is continue a series that you're excited for and so for this prompt I've chosen Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, the second book in the Dark Artifices series which of course I'm reading for By the Angel Along which was created by Becca from the Becca Fowl. This is book two, I read book one during January and this is our Feb February book for that read along. I'm super excited to get to this one. I really enjoyed Lady Midnight and I want to see what's going to happen next. There was so much drama in the last few chapters of Lady Midnight so I'm very intrigued to know what's going to happen with Lord of Shadows. This is also a pretty appropriate book for this readathon because I know that Tori loves Cassandra Clare's books so yeah I'm really excited to get to this. The next prompt is read something you wanted to read in 2022. So for this I've chosen Empire of Storms by Sarah J mass which is the fifth book I think in the Throne of Glass series so yeah I did want to read this in 2022 and I think it's also the only remaining book that's on my TBR scrolls TBR for Jan and Feb. I did want to try and get to this at the end of January but just didn't get around to it and there will be a reading vlog for this book. I went to go see my friend Abby very recently and she was telling me that she's really eagerly waiting for me to carry on with my vlog series of this book series so there will definitely be a reading vlog for this book. It's probably going to be the the next book that I start for February so yeah I'm gonna get to this pretty soon. I've just been putting it off for so long because it is incredibly chunky and the writing is really really small. I really want to read this. I'm super looking forward to it. Yeah Empire of Storms. So, like, I'm finally gonna be carrying on with it. So the next prompt is to finish a series and for this I'm gonna go with Shipwrecked by Olivia Dade and this is book three in the spoiler alert trilogy and these are contemporary romances kind of surrounding fan culture culture and the actors in this TV show that basically parodies Game of Thrones. I've been wanting to read a bit of contemporary romance in February because of course Valentine's Day, it's the month of love. So I feel like this is a pretty good one to go to. I really loved Spoiler Alert and I really enjoyed All the Feels which is a sequel. This is the really cool fantasy Afterlight edition. It's kind of 
the same as the regular editions it's just got these cool yellow sprayed edges and it does match the other two editions i've got for this series this is another one that i'm going to be reading i think in this one though instead of the male love interest being the one in the tv show it is actually the female love interest i could be wrong on that but i've been trying to go into books pretty blind in general and i'm really looking forward to seeing like what couple we're following in this yeah i'm really excited for this one. the next prompt is to read a book released in the last year and this is the only one on my tbr that's not part of a series and it is the book eaters by sunny dean so i've chosen this one because it is rose patreon book club book for this month and i really want to get to it so that's why i'm reading it so yeah i've really wanted to read this last year when it first came out because the concept really interested me it's a bit like a horror fantasy about people who consume stories and then I think a child in one of these families wants to eat like the minds of people or something. I'm very very intrigued by it. This is just a standard edition. I really wanted to get, I think it was the Illumicrate edition but I'm not a subscriber of Illumicrate so I couldn't get it. But yeah I'm super excited for this one. I'm very intrigued by the concept. I feel like it's going to be a little bit different to the kind of normal fantasy that I end up reading but I'm very intrigued so yeah I'm really looking forward to that. And the next prompt is to read a book that has been out for over a year and for this one I'm gonna go with Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan and this has obviously been out for over a year because it's been out for quite a while. This is the third book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series and I'm carrying on with this in February because it's for another read along in Rose Patreon. <laughs> so yeah I think we decided to do like a read along for this for like all of these sort of Percy Jackson books leading up to the Disney Plus show and the new book that I think is coming out later this year and this is February's book so I've read the first two already and I'm jumping in with the read along with this book so yeah I'm really excited to carry on with the Percy Jackson series I've enjoyed the first two books but I feel like from book three it's when we're going to really start getting in with the main plot of the series we've kind of had a little introductory quest type stories and now we're going to get in with the nitty gritty of like what is actually going on and I'm super super excited to see what it's all about and the next prompt is to start a new series which is something I've actually been trying to avoid recently because I have a lot that I want to carry on with because I feel like I'm neglecting my series books but this one is yet another book club book and it's The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie which is the first book in the First Law series and I'm going to be reading this as a part of Catch Up Book Club which is a book club that I've been really wanting to jump back in with for quite a while I kind of joined in a little bit when they were reading Game of Thrones fell off with that years ago Go. and since then they've read all of Robin Hobb's books so I'm finally able to jump back in with a new series so yeah this is The Blade itself. I don't really know too much about what the main plot is going to be but just looking at the blurb here it's telling me that it's something to do with a barbarian and a torturer which is going to be very interesting. So all I really know about Joe Abercrombie he's, he's like the father of grimdark fantasy and I really like grimdark, big fan of Jay Kristoff so I'm really interested to see how I get on with this. So yeah this is the start of a new series it's also another chunky book with very very tiny writing i'm really not helping myself out this month am i <laughs> with these long ass books but i love a challenge so yeah i really want to try it and get in with this one because i feel like if i don't read it now i'm not gonna end up reading it anytime soon because i'm gonna miss all the stuff for the actual book club and miss the live show <laughs> and the penultimate prompt is to read a book you wanted to read in 2023 and so for this i've chosen lost in the moment and found by sean and mcguire and this is the eighth book in the wayward children series and I've actually already started to read it. I'm filming this on the 2nd of February so I'm pretty late with my TBR video. I'm moving pretty on the ball with these. So yeah this is the eighth book in the way with children's series. I can already tell you I'm absolutely loving it. So this one is an even number so we're following one of the children in their worlds uh, and in particular in this one we're following Ansi. Yeah I'm just I'm really really enjoying it. I'm trying not to say too much about it obviously because I'll save that for my wrap up at the end of the month but yeah I, I really love diving back into the world of the way with children. I've been reading these for years now like I read most of them back to back but I, I started it like quite a while ago the series and then I, I like fell off the ball with the books like two to six I think and I read book seven almost immediately after it came out last year so I'm really really excited like I love this yeah I can't wait to see how the book's gonna end if I'm being honest because it's very very emotional so yeah that is my seventh book for February and the final prompt is to continue a series you're unsure about and I was really struggling to pick a book for this because there's not that many series that I'm unsure about but I also wanted to pick a book that wasn't a not too long and b I 
thought I might enjoy. <laughs> so I've gone with Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Herring Blake and this is the second book in the Blake Fall series, the first one being Delilah Green Doesn't Care. So this is another contemporary romance series, this one is Sapphic. In this one we're following Astrid who at the end of the last book was meant to be getting married so I'm very interested to see like how her relationship dynamics changed like pretty much what we knew of Astrid in book one is that she was very very heterosexual so I'm very intrigued to see like how she kind of discovers her sexuality in this book as well as to see the romance as well kind of spinning it that I'm not sure about it because I liked the first book and then the like, longer I've sat on it the more I've enjoyed it so I'm a bit like will this happen with me like I'm not sure if I'm gonna love it or if it's just gonna be like okay so <laughs> Yeah, but also I just wanted to pick something to fulfill the last prompt on the bingo board and this is what I've come up with. So yeah, I'm very excited to get to this. I really kind of want to prioritise my contemporary romances because I've missed contemporary romance and it means I'll be finishing a series and then this one I'll be caught up on the series and I think the last one which is about the third friend in the friendship group coming out later this year as well. So hopefully Illumicrate will do an edition of it as well and get that and read it pretty soon. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Also, I just love the colour. It's so pink and also the blue sprayed edges i think i mentioned this in like my unboxing of it <laughs> it reminds me of the trans flag which i think is pretty cool <laughs> so yeah that is the last book for my tbr so this is my very chunky february tbr obviously minus lost in the moment and found but that's only like a little novella. I don't know how well I'm gonna get on with this if I'm being honest because it is really quite chunky and it might be a bit of a struggle. It took me an entire the entire month of January to read Lady Midnight. So I feel like it's gonna happen again with Lord of Showers, I've been quite honest. Empire of Storms is obviously quite long. Blade itself, another long fantasy, but the others like I feel like it might be okay. We'll we'll see. No promises though. <laughs> So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, just a nice short snappy sweet little February TBR for you. It is the shortest month of the year and I've given myself a lot of books to read and a lot of pages to read as well which is the other thing but you know I this is what I'm interested in reading in February whether or not I'll actually do it is another question. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you're reading in February. I would absolutely love to hear if you're reading any of the books that I'm reading and what you think of them. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please do consider subscribing. I post a new video every single week. And I think that's it for me today, guys. So I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.